Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have an art haul to share with you, an art supply haul to share with you. I shopped online at um, Michael's, Omer de Serre, and Amazon, and I got a few things. It's not a super big haul, but uh, it's a haul anyway, and I thought you might be interested in seeing what you can buy yourself online from uh, these stores. Okay, so let's start with the Michaels haul. The first thing I have to show you is this tray, the Tidy, Simply Tidy Project Tray. It's hard to get it on all on camera here. It's a beautiful coral orangey color. I got this to fit inside a box, I'll show you that. I got this Simply Tidy project tray that measures 14 and a half by 10.7 uh, by 2.8 inches in height to go with the storage bin, the 14.5 quart storage bin. which is this. And I got the one with the kind of coral orangey color uh, lid here. And this is what it is, this big. Oops, there's something in there that I put in by mistake. So this is the 14 Point five latching storage simply tidy uh, storage bin and the simply tidy storage tray fits perfectly in here so you can put the cover back on and it latches and see and the tray also fits in the larger uh, bin that they have. I can't remember what the size was, but it's a little taller than this one. So I got this. Now my intention for ordering this online was to store my paper quilling and uh, paper bead rolling tools and supplies, but uh, I don't like it for that. I actually, I wasn't happy with how my tools were were fitting and not fitting in here and my papers so I'm using something totally different for uh, my paper quilling and paper bead rolling uh, and I can show you that at a, another time if you're interested so just let me know in the comments below if you want to see how I store my paper quilling paper bead rolling uh, tools and supplies okay so that so and I wanted to let you know that the reason I ordered stuff from Michaels was because it was my birthday last week and uh, I did some shopping online for that because shopping in stores for me is really challenging right now because I have a bad hip and I had a gift card from Christmas <laughs> that I wanted to use and so I used my gift card. Also I had a coupon for my birthday and there were two, some other coupons and I took advantage of the rebates offered by Honey which is an app for saving on, uh, on your online shopping and also uh, I got points from Rakuten. So that's how I got all this stuff on my gift card. <laughs> Um, I wanted this bypass trimmer that it's called. I call it a guillotine, but it's a bypass, a Fiskars Deluxe bypass trimmer. This is one of the only tools missing in my arsenal of tools. I have had a very old paper trimmer, old school style, super heavy, uh, but it hasn't been kind of that well it's it's always like a little off 
So I thought I would uh, get this since I was able to get this at 40% off because I there was a coupon for 40% off. I got this what do you call it? bypass trimmer. So and it's very light, unlike the um, the old one that I have in my basement, which is super heavy. This one is super light in comparison. So I'm very um, I'm very surprised. So, but I love Fisker's tools. They come with a lifetime warranty, whatever you buy from Fiskers. Uh, so yeah, that's. I think when I invest, I invest in a Fiskers tool. It's gonna last me forever. And if there's an issue, I just have to uh, contact the company, and they they're really great. They're their customer service. So, um, ooh. So that's my my bypass trimmer. <laughs> guillotine thing it's gonna be cool it's gonna be practical for cutting through um, multiple pieces of paper I think it does 15 sheets of paper yeah I can do up to 15 15 sheets of paper at a time so and it's a uh, 12 inches great for scrapbooking stuff and it's light it's so light I'm so surprised uh, so maybe I'll be able to hang this somewhere because I don't know where I'm going to store this in this room. This room is packed. I have no, no room left. So, but it has a handle. So I'm hoping, uh, I'll be able to hang it somewhere for storage. So that's what it comes with. If this is in here too. Oh, okay. The, this also goes with the trimmer. I have to install this. Oh, okay. There is a, I guess there's a shield here to protect my little fingers and a handle. Oh, this is the handle to go on here. Okay. There we go. All right. So I will have to install that. If you'd like to see how to set up your Fiskars bypass trimmer, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video. Now the other items I got, I got this bucket of by Craftsmart foam shape set, and it's essentially a bucket of sponge paint, paint paintbrushes, sponge paintbrushes with shapes. So there are like stars and triangles and squares now oh, it's a big bucket so this is great if you're like teaching a class or, uh, in a classroom setting let's say you have lots of kids at a party uh, this might be great for that or it's great for the crafter who wants to have one paintbrush for every color <laughs> so you get a variety of star shapes here so you get little stars big star Ooh bigger star so you you have different it's not just one star there's different sizes of each same for the little round ones and I thought these will be a lot of fun for multiple things that we do in the craft room um, when there's a really big round one here this is the biggest round one um, Especially uh, for like maybe gel printing. That's what I could see myself using this on with uh, to make gel prints. It'll be great on the gel plate. There's a flower shape too. So yeah, so I got this. So there are stars, flowers, squares, triangles, stars i think i already said that circles hearts and more stars in case you didn't have enough stars and 
um, this funky shape here. I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be, but uh, yeah. So that comes in this big bucket. I'm surprised there's there's a lot in here. How many are there? They're a total of 95 pieces, 95 brushes. So in various sizes and various shapes. So got that. I got this package of little containers and I swear I thought these were gonna be bigger I really thought they were gonna be bigger for the price um, so yeah I'm not so sure it's worth getting these at Michaels when you can get these at the dollar store but uh, I think I got a discount on them so that's it's okay but actually I will be using uh, this will be practical for little stuff but I, I actually thought they were bigger. <laughs> um, I ordered a alcohol ink palette by Ranger. It has 36 compartments. And although it says alcohol ink, you can use this for different types of mediums. Um, you could use it for paint or for ink. And I probably will be using this for ink. I already have another one somewhere in my stash so uh, that I'm using for alcohol ink but I might be using this one for a different type of ink so yeah. and I got some tools now I, I like to buy tools since I have so much already and I love everything that is art and crafts I try to focus on tools <laughs> but I don't I buy other stuff. Uh, I got this set of scoop tool, the scoop tool set. This is by Recollections. It's a four piece set. It comes with an, uh, a quarter inch oval scoop, a half inch round scoop, a quarter inch semi oval scoop, and a half inch metal funnel. So the reason for these tools is there's many things you can do with these in the uh, craft room. They there we go. This is what they look like. So here you have a little funnel. Uh, yes, I've seen similar funnels to this at Dollarama in the kitchen section, by the way. Uh, but I got this kit because I got all this together and I had a discount and it was my birthday. So there's my excuse. So you get these little spoons, these different types of little spoons with a long handle. So these will be handy for scooping out glitter, any type of uh, chalk, flock material, graphite, anything that's powdery, uh, or, or any even wet mediums uh, when you need to decanter from, uh, you know, those little, little bottles that we get craft supplies in. And this is also great for filling the same little bottles. But a lot of people are using these tools right now for adding glitter to um, resin projects and whatnot. So these have multiple uses in your craft. By the way, that was my cat jumping on the table and making a racket. Uh, so there's multiple uses for these in the craft room. Got that. And this I thought was neat. Uh, they also have these uh, silicone tip tools. Now I know that people are buying these mostly for working with resin and such, but there's so many uses for working with, uh, for using these silicone tip brushes. These sil they're silicone, so they work with anything that is sticky, whether it is resin, whether it is, you could use this with your Mod Podge. 
You could also use this with paint for moving things around, for holding things, for adding texture. There are multiple, multiple uses for these tools. Um, so I just like to have lots of good tools and that's why I got these and they do feel good in the hand. They have a nice grip and yeah. So I invested in some more tools and I believe that from Michaels, this will be the last item I have to show you. This is a set of stencils uh, by Craftsmart. There's 48 designs of stencils. They measure three and a half by four and a half. And this is a pretty good value uh, because you get 48 stencils. They are a thin cardboard and you do have to punch out the negative space <laughs> or positive space. I can't never remember um, to get the stencil. But I thought it was it was a really good value to have. I like the size. This is great for working on so many different types of projects, whether you're working in an art journal or whether you're working on a piece of home decor. Uh, always great to have stencils to make different kinds of patterns. And this there's there's more than one set at uh, Michael's because I know at Christmas I was gifted a set like this, but it was the alphabet, I believe. And this one is Moat Patterns and Phrases. So these are all the patterns that come with it and the phrases. So um, it's pretty good value for your money. And I don't say that often about Michael's. <laughs> okay. So that was the Michaels haul. If you're interested in seeing what I got from uh, Dessert or Omer Dessert and uh, Amazon, hang on. I'm going to show you that right now. So from omerdessart.ca, I ordered another box of my very favorite coloring pencils, the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Yes, this is a big expense. It's a big splurge. I love these pencils. I already have another set in storage, and I have, uh, I have many of these colors here at my desk in a case that I use. Um, I just I just love these colored pencils and the reason I got this for one is because the price was good and the reason I was looking for these is because I heard that Prismacolor is retiring some colors and people are kind of panicking about the colors and um, I went looking for those colors and and I thought this it's I don't know maybe it's it's there's something's going on in the coloring pencil world and I started looking at the prices of coloring pencils and I don't know if you've noticed this but I've noticed that high-end coloring pencils the prices are going up, people. Really, really, really crazy prices. So I got this set from omerdessert.ca for less than $200. It was 190 something, I can't remember exactly. And I have seen these exact same, and I'm speaking Canadian dollars. I have seen this exact same set. I have seen it priced up to just under 600 US dollars. So I have seen the range of prices everywhere for these pencils. Some some places are 300, 400, 500, and I, like I said, close to 600 US dollars. Um, so I thought, I there's a reason Omer de Serre is selling these so cheaply right now. I don't know what the reason is. I, I have no idea what's going on, but they had them at a really fantastic price. Um, and uh, I just had to get another set because I 
do not see myself ever paying 600 US dollars for these. And I love these pencils. I truly, truly, truly love these pencils. So uh, I just wanted to have another set in case I ever use up my other sets. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but yeah, I, I, I love these pencils. To me, this is also an investment. So because I, I learned about the Prismacolor kerfuffle about some colors being retired, I was on Amazon um, and I came across this set, the Colored Pencils Botanical Garden set. And I did not have this in my collection. I do have Prismacolors and my favorites are the Faber-Castell. But I do like the idea of having a small set just for botanicals, for a grab and go type of thing. So I got, I ordered these from Amazon. And in here, it does have a lavender. And I believe, and lavender is one of the colors that is being retired apparently by Prismacolor. The other color that is being retired is the lilac. So uh, this only has a lavender, it does not have a lilac. And when I was shopping online at Michael's, I can't remember which color they had. They had the lilac or the lavender, I can't remember which one, but they didn't have the other one. And I, I just like this set and the, the price was decent. So I ordered this. And because I wanted to make sure that I would have backup lilacs and lavenders, I searched and searched and searched for a source where I could buy just those colors. And every store I went to, they would have one of the two colors, not the other one. So I ended up finding both of them, the lilac and the lavender, at a place I never thought of shopping for my art supplies. And I don't know why I didn't think about it, be until now, I really like smacking myself on the forehead. But I found these at a university bookstore, a university bookstore that's, that has an art program, a university in Montreal. So I got these from Concordia University Bookstore. They were priced very reasonably. They were, they were less expensive than the ones that they have at Michael's. And I was able to get two lilacs and two lavenders. So no matter what Prismacolor decides to do with their colors, I have some backups. <laughs> and that's what started why I went and spent $200 on the Faber-Castell just because I got worried that maybe something was gonna happen to my favorite pencils. I know this is crazy, but yeah, the things we do. So I have these and I just want to let you know that if you're on the search for something like I, I, I was and I often am, do a Google search and check all the hits that it gives you because I would never have thought of going to check a university bookstore. I don't know why, but now I know better and I will. <laughs> all right. Finally, Amazon. So I got a few good deals on Amazon that I wanted to share with you. I My tube of E6000 is really gloppy right now. It's not goopy, it's gloppy. But, but when I tried to use the glue last week, it still worked. My, my thing is still working. My, still is, my thing is still hanging on. So... I can still, I'm going to finish my gloppy E6000 because it seems to still work, but I will have a tube, a fresh tube now. So I got this from Amazon and they happen to have the E6000 Plus. It says it's multi-surface, all weather adhesive, and it's low order. So I got this on Amazon and it, I had a, it was a, I had a special deal on this also. I'm not giving you the prices of things because the price, I don't remember the prices of the stuff I bought and the prices are going to be different now because we know Amazon prices go up and down. 
uh, the stuff I got at Michael's I got with discounts and coupons and all sorts of things and gift cards so it's, I, it's no use me giving you the prices that I paid because yeah uh, I got this beautiful Dina Wakely media journal the blue edition multi-surface journal for mixed media is 26 pages also uh, this was one of those Amazon deals and it it is scratched in the back but I don't care because I got it for way cheaper than the uh, full price again I don't remember how much I paid but it was a really good deal at the time you'll have to trust me so this is the blue edition I don't have this I've never gotten this one and look at the pages there is denim there is 100% cotton oh heavy heavy weight listen to this ah, so so thick there is uh, burlap or can no this is burlap yeah and more cotton paper and denim oh my goodness the the surfaces in here are thick they are really, really different from the other journals uh, that I have by Dino. And I love it. I love the idea of doing mixed media work on these pages. Her, her journals are always so well made. They really, they, they hold up to a lot of wet media, uh, mediums. So I like her, her journals. So that and the other thing i ordered on amazon just because it was a really good deal and i know what this is this is i'm gonna take it out of the the bag okay this is a package of etched glass adhesive vinyl and you could load this into your, um, you know, die cutting machines, whether it's a Cricut or Scan and Cut, whatever, and you can cut with this. Now, the, the point of this is it's an adhesive vinyl. You could use it to create labels for anything that you want, but you can also use this for uh, stenciling. To me and it works very well with etching cream and that is what I was thinking of so um, a lot of people complained about this product not being that good blah 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 but my intention is to maybe use this more as stencil for etching cream because I have had good success with this in the past to make stencils for etching and uh, and actually this vinyl is I think this is a little bit better than I expected it to be it's got a glitter so you can use this as uh, to make you know to use the vinyl as is or to make uh, stencils so that is what I'll be doing probably so this etched glass adhesive vinyl this is great if you like the look of etched glass but you don't want to go through the pro the chemical process of using the product the, the etching cream I have used etching cream and I have had success by making stencils with this kind of vinyl for the etching itself but this is supposed to be like an etched glass look um, I'm not too sure. I, th I think it's a little different, but anyway, it's pretty, it's pink, and it's supposed to be like etched glass, and you avoid the stinky etching stuff if you uh, use this. But like I said, I can use this to uh, make labels because it's glittery and it's pink, or I can use it to make stencils for anything, not just etching. So I just wanted to add that here. And uh, that is that for my multi store on my multi online shopping haul. Oh. Uh, again, it was Amazon, Omar de Serre, Michaels, and Concordia University Bookstore. 
I, who would have thought? So uh, I hope that some of these things have inspired you. Uh, maybe you saw some things in here that you're you're like, oh, that's that's something I could do. That's something I could use. You know, I, I just want to be helpful in your creativity. There's so much stuff out there and the possibilities are just endless. So I hope I've given you uh, some inspiration and not confused you. <laughs> so uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like, comment, share, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to tap on the bell a second time when you subscribe if you want to be uh, told when I post new content. Unless you tap that bell and tell YouTube, I want it all, you press all, you won't know when I post new content. That's how YouTube works now. So thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, take care of yourself. And, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye.